What's up, you guys? It's RJ. We are continuing uh, Kai's mini album, Rover. Uh, in the first video, we checked out Rover and Black Mirror. Um, in this one, we'll be checking out the remaining B-sides, Slide In, Bamba, Say You Love Me, and Sinner. So uh, yeah, I really enjoyed Rover, really enjoyed Black Mirror. If you did not see that reaction, I'll link it above. Um, but yeah, you can go check that one out there. Uh, let's go ahead and get into these here. All right, our next B-side is Slide In with a apostrophe, no G. Let's go. Oh, wow, this is like a dream. This, wow. I'll say it at the end. I see Mori, we don't drop it. Sitting on some gunny, go thank the limit. Dusty, Machi, Kalaji, Madden, Tangi, Shadin, Pimul, Gachi. That's all I hear. It's so pretty. This is so pretty. Wow, my mind, get out of the gutter. You know what? Wait, is that already actually over? I'm not even mad at that. I'm not even mad that it's like two minutes and 45 seconds long. I'm not even mad at that. That's probably one of the best songs I've heard this year. No, that's gonna be that's gonna be on the list for sure. As far as the B-sides go, that's gonna be at near the top. I don't know what else is coming the rest of the year. I mean, obviously we've got like 11, wait, <laughs> nine more months. Um, that was, that was perfection. That production was heavenly. <laughs> that was beautiful. Wow, I, I, that was like angelic. Like this picture of him with the wings, that was exactly what this made me think of. Like, that was so pretty the lyrics now i don't know I, like i said i have to take these lyrics with a grain of salt i never know if these are actually legit but this is a this is a bedroom song if i ever heard one before um kai said some things um this was so good this one number one absolutely number one i don't know if anything else is going to beat that but i'm curious so let's go to the next one all right next up we have bumba let's go Feels a little bad. Yeah. 
exactly exactly where I thought this was gonna go Hey, come on, dance for me now. No matter, no, it's not a. Not for the balcony, bum. Shall you look at? Talk to go get. Bum, 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 Oh, what's happening here? <laughs> All right, Kai. That was definitely going exactly the direction I thought it was. I got Latin vibes from that. Am I wrong? Because that's kind of what it was, where it felt like it was going, and that beat is, it felt very, remi like, not reminiscent, almost seems like something that's in the past. It felt very um, familiar to, like, there was a Latin influence, is what I'm trying to say. As fun, as I found this song, I think this song will probably grow on me a little bit more. And when I say grow, I mean to a song that I would probably repeat pretty often. Um, if it came on, I wouldn't skip it. It's fun. I feel like I would totally find myself dancing to this song if it came on. Uh, but this is probably not a song I would like be like, oh, let me listen to Bamba. That's just me. But I'm not saying the song is bad. I'm not saying like it's not a song to like listen to or anything like that. But for me personally, I think this song, I would probably not go to look for it, which is why I say it was probably gonna grow on me to get to that point. But I definitely had fun with the song and if it came on, I would 100% drop it like it's hot. Say You Love Me, that sounds like it's gonna be a ballad. Maybe, I don't know, let's go. No, it's not a ballad. I 
I like what just kicked in there in the second half of that chorus. I've haven't heard his voice in this way, and maybe I'm just not remembering. It, it honestly could be that. This song is probably on the same level as Bamba, as far as like a song that I I wouldn't skip it if it played, but I probably wouldn't seek it out to play. Um, let me explain quickly. So I'm sure you guys can all relate. If you listen to an album, I'm sure there, if it, even if it's a no skip album, there are probably songs that you favor more than others that you take off of that album and put it on a playlist. And this is a playlist that you repeat all the time. That's what I'm talking about. Like sliding, going on a playlist. Bamba and this one, probably not going on a playlist, but I would listen to this album again and not skip it. So that's what I mean. Like I, I enjoy the song, but not enough to put it on a playlist, on a separate playlist but I wouldn't skip it if it came on. So I like the song, but it's gotta grow on me to get to the playlist point. I do think this particular song though, um, I will say it didn't do enough for, for it to hook me in as much as I would have liked it to. Uh, I did like the, um, I guess the extra bass that was added or I don't know, um, I don't know music production. <laughs> terms but the second half of the chorus where it kind of became a lot deeper in the bass that's the only way i can really describe it i really enjoyed that i kind of wish that it almost had carried through the entire chorus but i do like that it kind of split it up in the chorus because it made it uh it made you kind of uh wish for that to come and when it did show up it, it really kind of elevated the chorus for me personally um yeah so yeah that's all i got <laughs> Let's go on to the last one. All right, our last song is Sinner. Let's go. I let you down. Don't need to go. It's a little joke. It feels like I'm falling. The Sesame is a little joke. I get you to the night. I'm a sinner. Oh, 
고통이자 구원이야 너의 세상에 난 I love that 자유니까 I'm a sinner cool song like i i oh, that that really um that really threw me off the way that its song began is very similar to how it ended like at the very end but the rest of the song was a progression it was very interesting like the chorus the initial chorus was a lot quieter than the middle chorus the middle chorus was a lot quieter than the third chorus, but louder than the second chorus. Like there was production and instruments added throughout the song. It was so interesting. And the build up to that final chorus was so well done. I thought it was going to sound different at the end for that build up. I don't know why I thought it was just going to kind of like cut out and be a bit more silent, but it didn't. That was very interesting. That was a very different kind of song. I love that this entire album just sounded so abnormal it didn't sound like your typical i don't even know what to compare it to really it just i just feel like there were a lot of risks taken with the way that these songs were made and i i really appreciate that because i like weird stuff i like when things do not sound like your traditional song um this was so different from a lot of stuff i've heard especially this year um and i gotta say rover black mirror and slide in definitely my three favorite songs but this album is definitely a no skip if i were to put this on from top to bottom i would definitely let this play out i enjoyed everything that played out here that was great yeah definitely one of my favorite albums i've heard so far this year thanks so much for hanging out with me here you guys if you liked the video leave a like and a comment and subscribe hit the notification bell if that's your thing and i'll catch you guys on the next video later